That's it. 1,200 meters. Opening leg of the PA. Can't quite see what's the delay. There's the all clear. They sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker and Glass Tiger jumped a little bit awkwardly towards the outside. Brave Pins is very quick but is strong in the early stages. Lucky Break is the quickest of all with the white nose band. That goes off to lead them tacking over towards the middle outside of the track. The Grey Cape Canaveral is also well positioned. Pax Turner is about two or three lengths off the leader with Iberian Express. Brave Pins is now about four lengths off the leader. Golden Matador in the yellow silks towards the sand side has five or six lengths to make up. Then comes Castle Keep behind that one's Gurkha Chief. As they come down now with about 500 meters to go and Lucky Break is the leader. Glass Tiger with the red cap is still right there. Cape Canaveral and Bolt of Light's got about three or four lengths to make up. Golden Matador's running on. But it's Lucky Break who hits the front. Glass Tiger's trying to put in the claim. Bolt of Light goes in for a run. Golden Matador's running on towards the outside. Eco Storm's also trying to get into the race, but Lucky Break is clear. Bolt of Light and Glass Tiger on the outside. Lucky Break's going to win though, and Lucky Break's won by two and a half. Second will go to Glass Tiger. Third will go to Bolt of Light. Castle Keep involved with Pax Turner and then Garby. Winner number one, Lucky Break, Brandon Larina for Tony Rivelin, for Mrs. Mary Liley, Mutafar from Backworth Stud. You'll see it gets eased up inside the last 50 metres. Showed pace from the word go, tacked over to the middle outside of the track and Lucky Break. Uh, last time out was beaten by Scrum Off, is victorious today. Fourth time at the track. Nice run from Glass Tiger, number 13, into second position. And Bolt of Light, obviously the son of Dynasty, is going to come on with this outing under the girth over more ground. Castle Keepers further back in the field, then Pax Turner. Take note of the run of Garby. Also over more ground, went down nice and strong to the start, then Cape Canaveral. And they were followed further back by Qatar Springs. And then came at midnight, Golden Matador, Brave Pincer, and Gurkha Chief. So as we look at the head-on, you'll see Lucky Break has gone clear of the opposition. And the other two runners still very green. The runner-up in the third place, Horse Glass Tiger and Bolt of Light. But Lucky Break wins it easily by about two and a half to three lengths in a time of 70,60 seconds. The fourth race will start off our pick six. Remember, we've got 10 races on the card. There's a quartet carryover to the 10th race, starting off at 30,000 Rand. Until the fourth, the first leg of the pick six, back to the studio. well-supported lucky breakers come through to justify that hefty support round about three to one to 15 to 10 at one stage and he's a progressive horse and he looked hard to beat today yeah Charlotte, he I thought he was hard to beat last time but I think it was a little bit of error of my judgment there I should have gone a bit harder on him knowing that that he's only need a bit further but today I made full use of him uh, he was still green today lagging toward the outside offer through the race but uh, he won a good race no, just coming to that last 600, you started to get into him. The horses looked to move up to him, and he just seems to lengthen. Yeah, I think that's a trick today. You know, last time I waited for him to come up to him, and uh, there was a sprint in the race that found him out. And today I made him gallop, and uh, he won a good race. you got Trip Kings and Dame Victoria still to come. How do you rate their chances? Trip Kings is uh, progressing nicely. Um, should give a good account to himself. And uh, Dame Victoria, last time was a bit stiff. There was, there was no speed in the race. And uh, she was a bit one pace all then. With a bit of speed today, I think she'll be, she'll be quickening well. Well done, Brandon. Thank you. Well done to Mrs. Lally and uh, Mr. Rivelin and Terry. Let's get Terry Fripp into the picture. Just the one runner for the day. We had a chat with you Thursday morning. Thanks very much for the transparency. And you thought he'd be very tough to peg back. Yeah, thanks very much, Sheldon. No, he had come on a lot from his last run. I could felt, we felt him. And he, he, there's no horse that you didn't really have to do a lot with him because he was very fit. And... Uh, when I rode him yesterday, I said to Tony, this horse has become a proper racehorse now, and the penny's dropped. He knows what racing's all about. Um, big thank you to Mrs. Lali. She's a big support in the stable. And uh, 
money well spent. You know, he's a nice horse, and I think he'll go on from here. Good luck to Tony. He's uh, not here today, but um, and thanks to the team, hard work pays off. And he looks like a horse who's going to get 14, 1600. I don't know about the mile right now because he's got so much gate speed and he travels up with the race, but um, and no doubt a, a 1400, and it wouldn't surprise me if he can win a 12 again in the handicaps. Well done. Thanks very much. Well done to Tony Ribelin, Mary Lally, Brandon Larina, and thanks very much to Terry Fripp. The transparency was there. They expected a winning run today, and the punters have piled on number one.